Okay, I thought I'd show you how to create this murky basement corridor that I've got here. It really is very straightforward, so I'll quickly take you through the steps. What I've got is uh, several materials that I've downloaded. Um, and there's the ceiling texture that I've got there. Um, and I've got this uh, for the walls. Uh, these are all of a free 3D textures site. I've got a door there, cheated with the all these textures, just downloaded them. There's the grill for the vent, uh, there's the metal for the pipe, and here's the result if I zoom in there. And you can see um, how it looks once you put all those textures on. And if I go to the 3D view now, I put it in wireframe, and then you can see what's going on uh, more easily and how simple this is. There's my camera looking down the corridor. As you can see there, if I just go back to 3D, you can see uh, what it is. And then there's my 3D view of all the objects. And if we um, get rid of the tools there, bring these out, here's my rendered view down here. And here's the, my uh, node editor. So if I click on these things, I can show you the texture. There are obviously the light bulbs there. Um, as you can see, they're just a simple emission, slightly yellowy light, so it gives it this sort of um, yellowy, murky feel. Uh, and then I've just got a, a basic uh, corridor with the walls and I've applied a texture to each of those. So here, um, as you can probably remember, there's a glossy texture. Uh, applied my image texture and just generated some coordinates because it's a flat wall and it ends up looking nice like this. Okay, so if I take this off, you can see what I mean. Uh, it's lost its texture. Still got a color there, but as soon as I apply the texture, it's got that nice murky grungy feel. Um, the door at the end there, a simple door texture um, which is uh, in the render view uh, you can see the door texture just there and it simply is um, a picture of a door and I've just slapped it on to a box. The only difference is that uh, let's uh, let's go back to our 3D view um, and look from this side here. Okay, so you can see it's a box, this one, and it's not just a plane, and I've projected it onto the box. The difference is that most of the time, this, uh, this when an image tem texture comes on, especially when you're dealing with just a plane, uh, which are these walls here, like this, it comes up, um, how do you want it projected, and you it's automatically on flat, okay? But if we choose the box, and that was on um, flat, if I zoom in with my camera, you can see that it's got this distortion because it's projecting just from the top a flat box, and these are all just sort of lines down here. Um, so you have to project as a box, and it will actually project onto each side of this box, but the other sides um, are small, so it doesn't really matter. Let's pull back a little bit again. Um, Lastly, uh, the grill and the pipes. If I zoom in with the camera again, you can see uh, there's a grill texture just there. It's very dark, so you can't really see. But um, again, if I go to my UV editor and show you the grill, it's just the picture of a grill, and I've applied it on here. It's very dark down there, so you can't really tell that well, but um, it's all in here with the generator coordinates, image texture, plugged into the color. Okay, The pipes were a tiny bit more complex and I actually um, unwrapped the pipes which is a, a later tutorial but you could do them with a box project particularly if we're um, all the way back here. Let's try and click on one of these pipes. Let's go to 3D view. Click on a pipe. Oh it's clicked. Um, and you can see I've gone from UV, UVs this time and that I've actually unwrapped them but if we go to generate let's just quickly try that and see what it's going to look like and let's go to box project see to be fair that's not a lot different uh, because we're quite far away but it, ooh, uh, particularly if we're about here uh, that still looks fine so uh, it just goes to show what you can get away with as such if I come back a little bit more so where we started roughly isn't it somewhere around here okay and you've got these little pipes down here as well let's go back to the wireframe so you can see this wouldn't take you very long to build the pipes are just cylinders with a little bit of a 
extrude there around the corner. Uh, the light bulbs are uh, simple spheres and these um, wires are just um, cylinders again and all in all you could probably do that in 10 minutes and then the texturing another five minutes so you can come up with this nice sort of grungy corridor scene in about 15 minutes so hopefully you can experiment with that and see what you come up with good luck